Hey everyone! Let me sing. <laughs> uh, Andy girl here. I am not in a town right now, so I'm not even gonna say where I'm at. Don't look at me. I'm gonna give it a minute to see if anyone hops on here. Oh, weird. Okay. I'm just going to go over some tips. I've actually already done these tips before on a video. I have it on YouTube, but I'm going to go over it again because I have a lot of new friends with doing the keto diet and all of that. So I'm just going to go over it again for everyone and for those who have not seen it. So, if you are joining me live, drop a one below, and if you're watching the replay, drop a two. I'm sorry, this is like right up close and personal, but I'm in a car right now. So, just uh, go ahead and hit the share button, and while you're there, you can um, click on my face and be notified every time I go live, because I'm going to try to go live a lot more often. So, let me just give it a minute here so while you guys are on here tell me how long you've been doing the keto diet or if you are just starting I'm curious hi Cheryl hi Felicia oh thank you for the share Vicki so let's talk about the keto diet um it's been around, or it started back in the 1920s for children who had epilepsy and medications would not work, so they introduced the keto diet, but if you think back to when we were homo sapiens, we've been basically doing a diet similar to this, you know, high protein, high fat, very low carb, um, intermittent fasting, never knew when you were going to get your food so this um it's been going around for close to 100 years now three years how much have you lost felicia that's pretty awesome three months so like the biggest thing or number one thing i'd say with any diet not just the keto diet is just do your research like Make sure it is the diet for you. Make sure um, you talk to your medical professional and, you know, make, if you have any mental conditions or anything like that, definitely talk to them about it and just research, you know, just because it works for one person doesn't mean it's going to work for you or maybe you might not lose as much weight as one person to the other. So just definitely do some research before just jumping into it. And 67, dang, that's a lot, girl. Like, was that all in the first year, or has that been, like, through the three years? Man, this is hot. My butt is hot. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so the second um, tip I'm going to tell you guys is to basically get grocery lists together, like... Go through your cupboards, clear out all the junk, and just start fresh. Go grocery shopping. If you guys need help with grocery lists, drop the word list below, and I can tag you in some lists. And definitely make sure you're friends with me on Facebook first so I can do that. But I can give you all kinds of grocery lists and recipes, tag you in some recipes. Um, I pretty much look at everything on Pinterest. You just put the word keto and whatever you want to make and you'll find something so yeah grocery list and then also just you know I'm not a medical expert but take a daily vitamin I just take a like a Walmart brand vitamin daily vitamin and then also make sure you are getting your daily electrolytes so salt magnesium and potassium you need to make sure you have those because when you are on the keto diet, it acts as a diuretic, and you, when you lose lots of water, you lose minerals, so you need to replace them. Pink Himalayan salt is great. 
on all your food because it has more minerals than table salt. And so, okay, so when you are going out to eat, this is probably the hardest thing for me. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because, like, I just love food. So, try to plan ahead. Try to Google the menus of where you're going and try to plan out what you're going to eat before you get there. And commit to that choice <laughs> but why are you looking at me you're making me nervous <laughs> I'm not driving if you guys are wondering like who's this crazy lady driving and telling me keto tips okay <laughs> so yeah just plan ahead search your um, restaurant you're going to or just avoid them altogether. <laughs> um, you know go back to the basics chicken and greens broccoli salad uh, green beans, stuff like that, and try to avoid the rolls. Okay, and before starting the keto diet, I also encourage you guys to take before and after, um, before and after, before pictures and measurements um, and your weight. That's one thing I didn't do when I started losing weight four years ago was take measurements. So I, I really have no much, have no idea how much I've like shrunk but pictures I have pictures so take pictures before you start that is a, uh, a good idea because maybe the scale might not move very much or slowly but you still could be shrinking losing inches because when you're burning fat as fuel it's it's inches it's not necessarily weight and that's another thing like if you are doing it for a while and then you're at a stall and your scale's never moving, <laughs> what? <laughs> your scale's never moving, then you should um, just throw your scale away. Like, you should go by how you feel, your energy, your mood. If your clothes are getting bigger and all of that. And if you guys are still on here with me, you guys better be sharing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Just don't beat yourself up about the scale. Like, seriously. And you might lose weight in one day, but that's not necessarily the weight um, from yesterday or the day before. It actually could be from weeks before. Like, you need to be consistent with your diet and not freak out, like, between one day or two days or even a week like give it some time because it does take time to lose weight in the beginning you'll yeah you'll lose water weight but um progression like it takes it takes time like when the scale moves all of a sudden it's called a fat whoosh and that could be from weeks before you stepped on the scale so just don't beat yourself up over the scale uh, let's see, let's see. Track your food. That's uh, another thing. If you guys are at a stall or even if you're just starting out. and um, I use my fitness pals. So, I would, if I were you, I'd set your goal macros at 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbs. That's if you're doing the keto diet. And, um... Obviously, that's going to differ between your height and weight for everybody. So, try to stay at 20 net carbs a day, 100 grams of fat, and between like 60 and 70 grams of protein. Because if you eat too much protein, it converts to glucose. So, you don't want that. And... Again, don't compare yourself to others. Um, some might lose it faster than others. Or they have different metabolisms. They might, You might have different medical underlying conditions that you don't know of. Like, just do not compare yourself to others. Just do you. Don't worry about what everyone else says. Maybe someone's in your ear saying that you shouldn't do this diet. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Like... Surround yourself with positive people, positive friends, if 
they are not positive, even if it's your family, like just distance yourself because you're changing for a reason. Like maybe such as myself, you struggled with weight most of your life and you know, you're ready for a change. You're ready for different, um, to feel better. So, you know, just surround yourself with other people who are doing the same. Um, I'm here for you guys. So if you ever have questions about anything, I'm usually, I usually can answer it or I'll be there for you guys because, I mean, I did it alone, so I know what it's like to do it alone, so just surround yourself with positive people, yeah, and love yourself. Sorry, I'm just going to wave to all you guys that are watching me right now. <laughs> it's so crazy that you can do that. Do you guys have any questions while I'm on here? That's pretty much my tips for the day. I'm thinking about doing um, tips on just food in general. like. But uh, do you guys have any questions on anything? That's all of my notes. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Well, you guys are amazing and thank you for watching and definitely share this out to your page or to any keto groups um, if you need help with recipes or um, other lives I've done I have them on YouTube so you can subscribe there or search hashtag Andy girl for anything and yes you guys are the best I will see you later bye